the holes drilled, got it all cleaned up. Now it's time to rebuild it and see if I can get this at least charging and balancing today. I have a newfound respect for Sparky's trying to jam my arm in there and getting all those cables through, but progress is getting made and that's all that matters. So what have we got? We've got the balance leads coming through here. We've got eight of them. So we've got four there and four up there with the pos most positive out there coming with the positive cable. Now I've got this positive cable is way too long and it, I was planning on doing these equal lengths. There's about half a meter of the blue cable, which is the negative uh, behind the thing, behind the wall, just in case I have to m ever move it, I guess. Um, as well as there's a little bit of extra of each cable just for moving stuff around if I ever have to. Now, I've also taken into consideration, I've got to put a screw back in here, um, and this is reasonably high voltage. Well, it's low voltage, but high current. Um, so what I've done is I've zip tied, I don't know if you can see that, you might be able to see the tail right there. I've zip tied that up to the solar cables coming off the roof, and they're, sold, they're zip tied up there a few times as well. Just to make sure that cable's held up while I put this screw in, should be a little bit safer then I can cut this to appropriate size. I'm gonna to have to leave this a lot longer so I can actually get to it. Similarly, with all of these balance leads, I'm gonna push them all back in. They're all gonna stay that length. I'm not gonna cut them down at all. And that just makes all the balance leads exactly the same length. And hopefully that means it's gonna have a more accurate um, reading when it's doing the balancing and stuff like that. Now I do have everything hooked up here. The, that's not actually hooked up. Well, it's hooked up, but it's not turning on because it needs batteries. I've uh, got the, the power coming out of the inverter into here and I've got the DC coming from the solar panels and then back out to the inverter there. Um, I, I have to get, I'm going to have to do something with this hole. I need to make that bigger so I can get the DC, the DC out to an inverter. Um, that's just going to be a matter of taking all these cables back out and putting another hole in there. Collateral damage, I just forgot. So I got so tied up with trying to do the rest of it. I uh, also have to work out my solution for the fan. I'm going to have to go out and buy a fan, um, 24 volt. I've got a couple 24 volt ones, but they're too big and they don't have the grill on them. So I'm going to buy a multi-tool or something so I can cut a hole into the side of that. And then I may put a row of holes with some gauze or something along there to allow the hot air to blow in here across this heat sink and then make its way out up there so there's some circulation. Um, there's also going to be air going out through the back as well, through those holes as well. That may well be enough air space for it, I'm not sure. That might actually make it noisy.
well that is not exactly where I thought I would be by the end of the day but it is something around 40 degrees and it's just horrible in here at the moment but it is starting to come to fruition how it, I thought it would look in my head now if you have a quick look here you can see what I'm what I was thinking with the balance leads so the balance leads come out of the wall and they will just come directly to that terminal there uh, where are we the camera that one comes up to there and so on and so forth we've got the cables that run all the way down the side this one will join up here it's a positive and we just need a bus bar down here join all those up and you can see what we we're going to do there so that pops straight out of the wall nice and clean nice and neat uh, some people again have um i just read the comments again a little bit of concern about heat and stuff crossing over i don't think we're gonna have any problem there's an air gap behind it it's a south facing wall there's no sun so we should be right there what do you reckon i can call that one a day tomorrow or over the weekend got to hook up the balance lead so we're gonna to have to fuse all of these put little glass fuses on heat shrink it and then put a little ring terminal on so we can hook it up to that then we've got to put balance leads between each packs we've got to wire the bait trim and then we can turn it all on so that will be a little bit exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So tubers, if you've stuck with me for the last three videos, thank you very much for tuning in. Give us a like, rate and a subscribe and I will see you on the next one.